Yo, hey guys, what's going on? Uh, Jimmy is Promo here, and I just wanted to do a live stream with you guys. Um, I'm also going to see if I can find it over on my other phone. I'm actually doing this right now on the Z Flip, uh, and this is also portrait. So usually in live streams, I'm always you know horizontal, uh, but I wanted to try this portrait mode. The reason why is because um, this is actually sitting on a charger. My my phone is almost dead. Uh, and so it's sitting on a charger right now and it's actually folded up. So this is exactly one of the amazing things you're able to do with the flip by actually just having it, you know, sit right in front of you and sitting up. So this way you don't have to try to prop it up. You don't have to have different pop sockets. You don't have to have different cases to, to lift it up. So this is actually just sitting almost a 90 degree angle and then easily just able to to switch it up just like this so you guys can kind of see you know what you're able to do with not only a live stream but also with recording video doing uh video chat things like that if you have at&t you can do video chat if you have uh google duo which is what i use uh, i use duo to to do all the video chats um i'm actually uploading a video right now unboxing the galaxy fold showing you everything sorry <laughs> the z flip showing you everything that's inside the box um, also showing you just a couple quick things you know with the camera and such so hopefully this kind of looks pretty cool um let's see it looks like my live stream kind of looks okay here we go i'm gonna check it out right here just to make sure i'm catching up with you guys on the live chat so um okay we're good to go what do you guys think of the 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 portrait mode of live streams? What do you guys what do you guys think of that? Let's see, Galaxy Buds. I'm, I'm actually trying to kill them right now. I'm gonna do a video, uh, seeing how long it takes with the Galaxy Buds Plus completely dead, placing it into the case and then putting it onto um, actually just the case itself. I want to see how long it takes to go from zero to 100 uh, percent with Galaxy Buds Plus completely dead only in the case not even plugged in so the title of this video is talking about you know doing a live stream um you know from the galaxy z flip and talking about where you can find this phone if this is something that you're interested in so i've had a lot of people ask questions like hey i just ordered it uh now i'm waiting a lot of people ordered it from uh, best buy and it's just still waiting and just kind of rendering and waiting uh, so basically what's happening is if you know the locations that sold the original Galaxy Fold, those exact locations are getting the Z Flip. So I knew exactly where this phone was uh, specifically only because I knew where the Folds were at. Uh, also, if you go into, at least for AT&T, so if you go into an AT&T location and you see uh, it's a table, it's kind of like uh, a 4x4 four four table, it's white. Uh, right at the very front of the location, you'll probably see the Galaxy Fold under the glass. That is where the Z Flip is at. So I would suggest calling into your local Best Buys, AT&T's, Sprint locations, trying to figure out if they have it. Uh, and that's really where you're going to be able to find it. So a lot of people thought ordering it online was going to come sooner. But if you're actually patient and you find the locations that have it, you can just buy it in store. So I think, let's see, looking at a few of you guys. Oh, someone asked me, do I work for Samsung? That's probably because of the T-shirt. Uh, no, not right now. I, I actually, I used to work for Samsung for about seven years, and then I quit, and then did uh, YouTube full-time. So there you go. You guys kind of know what's going on. Uh, but yeah, so any other questions that you guys have with the Z Flip? Uh, maybe trying to figure out, you know, exactly where you can find it. So again, call it, call your locations. Uh, AT&T got the phone starting on uh, last Friday. So this past Friday, some locations were getting it. They were only getting either one, two, maximum three. So usually the average is one or two per store. Best Buys is getting it this week on Thursday. So if you're looking to try to get it at Best Buy, uh, make sure you start calling tonight or tomorrow. Call tomorrow, see you know if they're going to be getting it on Thursday. So usually it's within 24 hours. Usually the day before shipment comes in, they get a sheet of exactly what they're getting, and just try to see if if it's going to say the the Z Flip on there. Uh, so someone mentioned that it sold out in LA. Um, do you have any guarantee? 
he with the flip youtuber youtubers are posting videos and the screen got scratched so easy so it really depends i mean there's only really one youtuber that i know of that is purposely trying to scratch the screen so um that's really all i can kind of think of so it's i think it might be pretty much almost the exact same as the refurbished or the remade um galaxy fold so it's actually not thin glass. So I meant I, I remember Samsung mentioning it's thin glass, which is actually really bad marketing. Uh, there might be glass particles, but not really. Um, what, what's supposed to happen with glass is that if you puncture it, like if you try to push through, it's supposed to crack the screen. It's supposed to uh, leave something, right? Um, but if you're to actually push through it with a needle, it's going to go directly into the display itself of the AMOLED display, um, creating lines that are broken. So if people are breaking it or scratching it, they're really trying. Uh, the other thing I noticed too is like when you open and close it, you don't want to use one hand. So if you have, if you're, let's say a female or a male and you have, you know, big, uh, nails if you try to open it up and slide it up you're probably maybe going to hurt and damage the side of your phone where the screen is at so i would suggest just opening and closing with two hands um but i i, I did own the galaxy fold but i returned it just actually for like 10 reasons is why i returned it it wasn't a really you know i wasn't a big fan of it uh it was always a two-handed hold when it was opened it was so large you know if i want something big and foldable i want to have a foldable tablet not a foldable phone. And the main reason why I returned it is because uh, there was no trade in value with it. You know, it's a $2,000 phone that if you wanted to trade it in for a brand new phone, more than likely on the drop down menu, even when you order the S20. So, like, let's say you went from the Galaxy Fold to the S20 Ultra, uh, there was no option to trade in a fold. Um, the only time that option is going to be there is maybe with the Fold 2, but I guarantee you they're not going to give you a high price point of trade-in value. Usually trade-ins for trade-in value is usually somewhere around you know $650 or $600, which means you're, you're trading in a $2,000 phone and only getting $600 for a trade-in, which I found to be ridiculous. But this one with the Z Flip so far, I've only had it for uh, seven out. Mm, I've only had it for five hours, and so far I like it. There is no buyer's remorse. Some people might be thinking, is there buyer's remorse? I had buyer's remorse with the Galaxy Fold, but not uh, the Z Flip. Let's see whatever, if there's other questions here. Uh, yeah, so kind of, yeah, it just kind of depends on where it's gonna go. Um, but just, just uh, you know, call your locations. Um, but AT&T was supposed to start getting them Friday, so start calling see who's getting it. Um, everybody should know who's getting it and who's not when you call the locations. And then Best Buy's get them this upcoming Thursday. And Sprint, I believe, I don't know about Sprint for sure. I thought I had five locations that showed where they were going. So right when a phone is being released, check this out, it's kind of a little trick. When you open up the Samsung shop, Samsung application, when you first notice the brand new phone, like the Z Flip or whatever, you'd be able to go through the purchasing, but if you click on um, pick up in store, it'll actually show you the locations of where they're gonna be. So I had uh, five Sprint locations I saw, uh, and then two AT&T locations that I've seen as well too. So that's another little trick you can do uh, during a brand, like the brand new first couple minutes of a phone that's about to come. Uh, let's see what else here. Um, was concerning the flip, but that screen sensitivity makes me wonder if it's worth the price or, uh, just wait for the next note. So it's really up to you. I mean, when you do go for a foldable device as of right now, uh, the screen is going to be sensitive. So it just really depends on your personal lifestyle. If you know, you're going to hurt the screen, if you're around a lot of debris, if you're a construction worker, originally I thought a folding phone would be pretty sick. Uh, but because the screen is still not legitimately glass, uh, you will be able to to hurt that. So I would say wait for the next note if you're afraid of um, the sensitivity of the screen, unless if you're really good with your phones. Uh, does your device use UI flexibility with the YouTube app? So Bran asked a really good question. I, I do not have that feature. It was one that was talked about 
at Unpacked, and it was a feature that I saw on one phone. And then when I went to other Samsung folks uh, trying to demo that uh, with the, the Flip UI with YouTube, where YouTube goes to the top and the comments go to the bottom, every time it didn't show it. So I think there's probably going to be an update for that to actually come. I went through a few settings and was not able to find it just yet. So yeah, I do not have uh, the UI flexibility with the YouTube app just yet. Uh, do you know if the Z Flip or S20 on display at Best Buy? So um, I have not ran into a Best Buy yet. I'm pretty sure it has to be there by now. So um, if any location has it on display, they will be selling the Flip. Uh, the only case that might happen is certain locations might not have it now, but they'll have it in the future but they will do a, a direct ship so this way or direct fulfillment so this way you can see the phone play with the phone um, and if for some reason it's not in the store they will just direct fulfill it for you uh, let's see here missed out on the flip Josh what's up Josh Q <laughs> Josh QT he actually Josh did a test um, testing the Galaxy Buds Plus for a full battery drain through the day. So if you guys are curious on that, click on Josh Q's name, uh, hit subscribe, and also watch his video right there. Let's see. Does the flip come out with One UI 2.0 right away? Is there any noticeable differences? So this one is running the, the One UI 2.0 along with the Flip UI, um, or maybe it's just called the Flip UI, but it is running Android 10. And I had good luck on my Galaxy S20 or on my Galaxy Note 10 Plus. I had good luck on here with a couple settings already in place. And with Samsung account switching over applications, it actually put it on to Flip. So I had to turn off um, one of the settings from good luck, which is actually pretty cool. Um, another uh, popular YouTube channel said the Flip was a S10e that folds, pretty much. It pretty much is the S10e that folds. Uh, I mean, it is a narrow phone, so it is long, kind of. Uh, and because of the fingerprint scanner on the right-hand side on the power button, it does act like the Galaxy S10e. And what else? Um, but yeah, I mean, it's got a little bit better shooters and a little bit better processors as well. So, you know, you're not getting anything more. Let's put it that way. You're not getting anything more on the flip um, than what you'll get on like an S20. But the only reason why it's close to the S10e is only because of the fingerprint on the power button. Let's see here. Will they have unlocked Flip at AT&T or just Best Buy and Samsung? So you can only buy unlocked from Best Buy and Samsung.com. If you purchase it at AT&T, it will be with the uh, AT&T software and everything else. Does the Flip have DeX built in? Great question. Um, so the Flip is right there. <laughs> yeah, the Flip is actually sitting at a 90 degree angle. For anybody who missed it, I actually just propped it right up. So this is again an example of what you're able to do with the flip when you're doing video chat, uh, if you're taking pictures, if you're shooting videos. And on YouTube here, I put it in portrait instead of landscape. Um, so I don't know for sure exactly if it has decks. I barely went through some of the settings on it. So uh, that's going to be some of the future videos within the next few days. My plan is to put up at least two or three more videos, um, you know, within the next few days. Let's see here. Thanks for all the great videos, but I'm in love with the S10 Plus. Uh, are you going to do any more S10 Plus videos? I actually have like 60 or 70 videos covering the Galaxy S10 Plus. So I'm pretty much done with that phone. Um, is this still going? I lost it for a second. Okay. So yeah, the uh, S10 Plus, I'm pretty much done shooting the videos. Uh, the only time stream. Okay, here we go. I'm still live. Here we go. Sorry about that. Um, now, yeah, so the Galaxy S10 Plus is going to be pretty much done with videos unless if I talk about Samsung One UI things. But a lot of the things that I cover on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus does cover the S10 Plus. So um, I will be still doing a lot of the Note 10 Plus right now as well. So I'm going to switch back and forth between the Flip and the Note 10 Plus. Um, besides the screen, what would you like improved on the Flip? Uh, so... Uh, Two things. So first off, you covered the first one. I would like the screen to actually be made of glass somehow. They've, I mean, there's there there has to be at some point a better screen that they can use. Other than that, I would have to say, uh, 
uh, it would be Dolby Sound. So right now there is only one speaker on the bottom and that's it. So the, the dual sound that you have, the complete Dolby Sound that you have with your uh, top and bottom speakers is actually not a part of the flip. Another thing I would change is going to be the charging. So the charger that comes in the box is actually USB A to type C. So it's not type C to type C. So you're losing a little bit of your speed of charging when it comes down to this phone. So yeah, so that's 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 what I would change. I would change a better screen. I would change a type C to type C charger so it would be able to charge faster. Uh, and then, you know, out of the box. And then, um, Dolby sound. I want to have stereo sound. I don't want to have the one speaker grill on the bottom. And by the way, too, guys, uh, probably what's going to happen is I'm going to end this live stream and then I'm going to have a brand new video go live. So anybody who's watching this live stream in the next few minutes, um, watch the brand new video that's about to come out. <laughs> I need to update my title. Let's see here. Um, do a fingerprint scratch test. Don't think so. <laughs> Bought this thing with my own money. Uh, I'm not a huge, huge YouTuber. I don't make a ton of cash, so I'm not going to waste $1,300 by doing a fingerprint scratch test. Uh, let's see here. Hope Toys compared to the Note 10. Hope Toy like the cameras compared to the Note 10. Sorry, I don't know what that means. Uh, Josh Q, can you retype that? Uh, Hope Toy like the cameras but i will have to say the cameras on this one is pretty cool so there is actually hyperlapse and nighttime hyperlapse and also you have your pro mode for video on this phone super excited yes 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 um am i going to be keeping the z as my daily driver yes so the daily driver is going to be the z flip all the way up until the galaxy s20 ultra arrives which is going to be you know march 3rd so I'm going to be using this as a daily driver until March 3rd, and then I'm going to flip back and forth. Uh, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, I'm still going to be making videos. I have a small list of videos to actually still shoot for the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So there is going to be more content coming. Uh, which Samsung watch am I wearing? This is the, the Galaxy S3 Frontier. I had the Classic and the Frontier. I sold the Classic, and I kept the, the Frontier. Uh, which Samsung? Okay, let's see here. How does the Z case work since two parts? Yeah, so there is two parts to the Galaxy Z Flip um, for the case. So there's a case that comes inside the box. It actually fits really well. That's what I'm using right now. I did also buy. I did also buy this, um, which this is reviewed in the video that's about to go up in just a few minutes. So, I mean, I'll probably still live stream as I edit this. Just kind of fun. You guys can see a little bit of back, you know, behind the scenes of YouTube people. But I, re I, I check this out, uh, and I'm actually, I, I love the feel of it, but there is a flap in the middle. So this is actually a one-piece uh, case for the flip, but it kind of flips out, <laughs> and you can play with it. You'll see it in the up upcoming video. It's actually all, it's almost all processed. It's almost... It's almost up. I just have to put in my title, uh, put in put in some tags and things like that. Let's see what else do we got here. Somebody really wants the Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G. Uh, should I get the Fold 2 or the Note 20? Uh, honestly, for practicality reasons, I would go for the Galaxy Note 20 over the Fold 2, only because I don't know exactly what the Fold 2 is, um, what they're gonna do. You're going to have an ex extremely expensive phone, again, that you're not really able to have a good trade-in value. Uh, let's see. How do you like the cameras compared to the Note 10? My bad. Okay. So, Josh, um, I would have to say that I haven't had too much experience yet with the cameras, but I did notice Hyperlapse has a night mode. I also noticed that there is a pro mode for video, which a lot of people wanted. Uh, I like the UI of being able to switch the cameras and things like that. So, I mean, it's really going to be very comparable to what we have, you know, on the Galaxy uh, Note 10s. But I'm going to check it out. Also, single take is there. Single take, I tested it once, but I'm going to redo it outside. Single take, it takes a picture. What they told me at Unpacked is that it, it saves up to four videos and ten images. But so far, I've only seen four images and two videos. So I don't know if they got their information wrong or maybe the way I took the picture, it didn't have the perfect you know, setup for getting all of those images and videos. Uh, so Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, 
coming soon. Yeah, so the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is always August. Every year. Um, thoughts on the comparison with the Galaxy Fold. So I, I owned the Galaxy Fold, but I returned it. Was not a fan of the fact that uh, the front screen was so small. Like in the video, I mentioned that I would rather want to open the fold up. I didn't want to need to open it up. Like if I want to open the phone, I want to open it on my terms. I did not want to always open it every time because the screen was so small that I could not do it with my finger. Now on the flip, there is a small screen, but I'm not going to really interact with it other than see who texted me, uh, what the, the notification was, things like that. Um, and then also the fold was too expensive for a trade-in, but this one I can see being just a little bit better because it is about, you know, what, $500, $700 cheaper. Uh, Jay Mill, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you for the $5. Keep making good videos is what he said. Thanks, man. I totally appreciate it. Um, I'm trying my best, man. And actually, right over here, uh, I, got the, I got the little dude actually kind of chilling with me. <laughs> so there's a the little man. Just kind of rocking them back and forth a little bit as I edit, which this video will be up super soon. But yeah, he's just chilling down there. This thing is just sitting on a wireless charger. It's wirelessly charging, sitting up 90 degrees, doing all I can. Uh, let's see, what else do we got here? My upgrade is due September, so the Note 20 comes soon, please. Yeah, so the Note 20, that's going to be perfect for you for a September um, update. Uh, someone asked if there was a leather case for the, the Z. I have not found it yet, so I'll find it at some point if it's out there. Um, Josh says, cute kid, bro. Congrats. Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, the screen is bigger than my baby. <laughs> uh, J-Mill, yeah, thanks for, yeah. I mean, he's fun, man. He's doing pretty good. He's just, he's just chilling. He has no idea what I do yet, but he's in the room with me and just kind of right on the right-hand side, a little bouncer seat, so I can just put my foot on there and just kind of bounce him around a little bit um, if he ever wakes up or whatever. Let's see. Somebody's waiting for the Note 22 Ultra. <laughs> yeah, true, right? Let's see what else do we got here. All right. There we go. Okay. So we're still sitting. Okay, it's, it's almost processed. It's still sitting at 0%. Uh, any other questions do you guys have at all? See, does the does the flip shoot an 8K video like the S20? And then someone else says hi from Massachusetts. Uh, I do not believe it has 8K recording. It might. Um, I'll get back to you on that. And I know that there's probably gonna be somebody in here who can write the comment below if it does. Uh, I don't really want to Google it at the moment. So I really opened it, um, transferred content, looked at about five settings, but that's about it. But yeah, I'm trying to think if it does. I think it does. I switched. I actually I switched my video recording resolution at uh, I believe I put it at full HD plus uh, 60 frames per second. So that's actually what I put on. Um, any other carriers that'll carry the Z Flip? From my understanding as of right now, that I can 100% say that's legit is going to be AT&T, Sprint, and Best Buy. So I don't know about the other two. But I also haven't really done a lot of research. I really just focused and narrowed in that the the two locations of AT and T that's getting it, and that's really all my thoughts were. Um, and Nunez, thank you so much for the super chat of two dollars. Uh, and you mentioned great content. Uh, looking forward to the S twenty unboxing. Yeah, I'm I'm excited for the S twenty unboxing as well. Um, and so that'll be coming in. I'll be getting the Ultra. And the only reason why I'm getting the Ultra is even though I know that I might not need it the plus is perfect you'll get everything with the s20 plus i'm only getting the ultra just because i'm just so used to getting the top tier phone that i'd be able to train on everything that's on the phone because if i train on the ultra then i'm hitting everything on the other two phones but if i only get the plus then i can't talk about what is on the ultra yeah so i'm looking at some of the questions yeah so does it even support the 8k it does um, or the 855 i don't know about the 855 the 865 does um verizon is picking up in march or through june t-mobile is not going to carry it is what brianna has mentioned so verizon looks like they'll get it march through june and then t-mobile is not going to get it at all which i think is kind of funny because i'm pretty sure t-mobile and sprint was supposed to merge <laughs> 
Let's see here. So Dean says that the Z Flip does not have 8K. Like if I was not using the phone right now, I would I would check. You know what? Let's just Google it. He mentions that he has the phone and it does not have 8K. So my guess is you probably went into the camera and went through the resolution to try to search. So, um, and is it worth it getting a watch for the S10 Plus? I mean, I mean, I have a watch. I, I have the, the, the Gear S3 Frontier. I love it. All right, let's look. So let's head over into, let's head to Samsung.com. And actually, at one point, Samsung.com took this phone away um, that I couldn't really find, in terms of like shop Samsung at least. So for the Z Flip unlocked, oh, check, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. So checking out Samsung.com. Okay, so it only says notify me. So you can get notified for the Z Flip Unlock 256 gig, AT&T 256 gig, and Sprint. So, yeah, I don't see any of those other two options. Um, all right, so that's that's good to know. So if you go to Samsung.com, you'd be able to check out some of that stuff. I was trying to get purple, but I couldn't. So there is no 8K. Uh, Dean is correct. Uh, I already trusted you, um, but I wanted to look as well. So it has ultra wide camera. Also, there's a setting in the camera for the Flip and the S20s where you're able to automatically have it go to a wide angle front facing. So if you're taking a selfie and if you are just sitting in it, it'll take a regular image no matter which lens you're on. But if it notices that two people are in your, your frame, it'll automatically go to a wide angle camera, which is actually pretty cool. Um, but this one does support super steady and it has 4K Ultra HD. So you're not able to do 8K on it. I'm gonna look really fast at this website. Let me just see if there's anything else. Um, so I'm looking at a, an image on here. It shows everything inside the box, which is everything that will be in this video that's basically done. It does have fast charging, but it does not have the Type-C to Type-C, which is super annoying. It does have also the wireless power share, obviously. Um, the main display is only gonna be Full HD+. Plus, so you will not be able to have, that's probably the reason why people said that it's kind of like the S10e, is that it's only Full HD+, plus. it's not the WQHD+. Plus. Let's see what else, anything, anything inf informative. So it looks like the front facing is going to be a 10 megapixel camera. Uh, main camera, looks like we have a 12 megapixel and a 12 megapixel. You can shoot slow motion at 960 frames per second at HD, and then 240 frames per second at full HD. Available memory, even though mine's 256 gigs, the available memory that comes with it is 224 gig. Okay, so that's enough of that. So there, there it is, no, eight, no 8K. But again, you know, it's, yeah, you're, you're not getting everything that's in the S20. But yeah, hopefully that'll change with the merger with Sprint and T-Mobile. Um, yeah, the flip looks nice. I mean, I like it so far. Cool. Well, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. All I'm going to do now, I mean, you guys can keep asking questions. I'm going to answer it here. So if you guys want to keep on staying to this video, I'm just going to answer some of your guys' questions. I am going to direct some of my attention over here uh, just so I can get this video up. Because what's going to happen is I will end this live stream, and the moment I end it, my video will go live. So we're going to call this one... Um, you know, Galaxy Z Flip unboxing. Um, first impressions and case review. So it's a case review because I'm reviewing two cases. The one case that came with the box, the other case is the case mate, um, which is right here. It's it feels really good. There is just two things about it that I hate. Um, and you guys will be able to check that out here in just a minute. So Galaxy Z Flip unboxing, first impressions, and case review. That's the title. So let's see here. In today's video, we will be unboxing and testing out two cases. Hey, babe, what's up? 
Yeah. Gonna take, gonna take the little dude. Yeah. Okay, I'm live streaming at the moment. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's I was like, um, I didn't know. If I should Say hi to Mama. There, there's Mama. Hi. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see, let's let's switch this out of here. Yeah, just so you guys know, when it comes down to like up uploading on YouTube and stuff, on the bottom of the description you're able to put in three different hashtags up to three hashtags and the hashtags kind of um you know let's say that you search for samsung anybody is able to do it. it's kind of like hashtags on twitter so it's kind of a way to have your videos be found another way so let's do galaxy z flip next hashtag let's do samsung up up upload Thumbnail. Thumbnail is the most important thing here. All right, what do we got? Let's do... Okay, there we go. Good thumbnail, good thumbnail. I'll make a new playlist. Galaxy. And how to's. How many of you guys are still here? Hey, I gained more people. I'm just uploading a video. Let's see here. What else we have? Thanks for everything. The case. Hi. Hi, Mama. Let's see here. Do you think the Note 10 will get single take? I don't know if the Note 10 will get single take. Um, I mean, Samsung might as well hold on to that for the newer phones. But I really don't know what they're going to do with that. Galaxy Z Flip tutorials and how to's. Visibility, public. All right, then you gotta go to more options. I gotta say, no, this is not made for kids. We're gonna put in some tags. Recording date is today. Okay, what else what other questions do we got there <laughs> let's see does the note 9 get pc decks t-mobile is so slow with uh android 10 updates single take would be awesome i'm tired of apple sheep um so when it comes down to the note 9 for decks i believe gosh does the note 9 it's been a while since i've played with the note 9 does the i'm pretty sure note 9 has decks that you plug in uh and i also have a deck station as well yeah, so it does. So it has deck station. It just kind of depends on how you want it to kind of work with decks. If you want it to be with a deck station, or if you just want to have it plugged into a, a computer via HDMI. So Z Flip, Galaxy Z Flip, Samsung Z Flip, Galaxy Z Flip unboxing. Review case. Let's see what other questions we got. Um, it has Apple, yeah, display decks, yep. Anything from the Note 8 on, yep. Did you get to be a tourist in San Francisco or were you just there for the event? So I was literally there just only for the event. I've been to San Francisco multiple times, you know, with all the Samsung events, things like that. So I've, I've ridden the trolley, wrote, you know, walked around, um, saw the bridge, you know, I've done a few things. So usually when I go on business trips, because, because I did work for Samsung for seven years, you know, I traveled to all the different shows, traveled to many different cities. I've already experienced all of that. Uh, I also used to work on a marketing company way back in the day. I toured the entire United States uh, before I even had my first son. And so I've been to a lot of locations and I'm very grateful for that. So now it kind of seems like anytime I go to a new location, I'm always just there for work. Uh, I'm there for the food. Other than that, I really don't go everywhere. And it could be just maybe my personality where I don't really need to do all that. I've done a lot of that. So I really just kind of shoot videos, do what I need to do, travel, get it done, edit videos. Um, but if I'm with family, 
then I will look around, do things. But usually when I travel, I'm with a few friends, a few YouTubers, and we just kind of want to be there for work as well. So let's see here. Z Flip review, Galaxy Z Flip, Z Flip unboxing, Z Flip. Okay. Z Flip. Dang. The Galaxy Z Flip is a uh, crazy, crazy word to, to read over and over and over. Okay, so this is pretty much done. So I put in the tags, uh, it was uploaded. Everything is sitting good. Everything is looking good. Next, next. So I will make this go live at 8.30, which is nine minutes. So whenever you're done with this live stream, hold on uh, and you will be able to see this video go up. So we might as well just hang out. What else do we got for some other questions here? Uh, besides the obvious, have you done a watch review like do you like you do with phones? So I can just check out that video. So I used to do watch reviews, watch tutorials. I haven't done it for a while. Um, I should probably look into that a little bit more. Is a Z Flip worth the buy? Don't know yet. So far, I do not have buyer's remorse. Um, I like it so far, but I've only had it for uh, six hours now. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not fully into it just yet. I mean, it's got some cool shooting features. I'm really more into the flagship devices, the, the S devices, the note devices. So I like the fact that you don't have to fold anything. You just pull it out, use it and go. I mean, it's just, it's what we're used to, but it is fun to, uh, be on a phone call and then shut the flip and it hangs up or, if someone calls, you open the flip and it answers it. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. You know, something that we're used to. Next. Okay, so I will schedule this video to go up at 8.30 p.m. Hopefully that's a long enough time for everything to load up for it to be in, like, the full resolution. Because I do shoot in 4K, so if it's standard... Uh, that's the reason why. We do one more thing. All right. So that's kind of pretty much everything I wanted to cover. Yeah, it is the loudest keyboard ever. Uh, it's because it's a mechanical keyboard. It's a gaming keyboard. So it's super responsive, and uh, it has that old-time click, man. You can't, you cannot beat a mechanical keyboard, but it is loud. Let's see here. <laughs> you should watch Jerry Rig Everything. I do watch Jerry Rig Everything. Well, <laughs> I do. Yeah, he obliterates the Z Flip. It opens it up. I mean, he he kills it. He opens it. Um, he does things that I don't want to do, so amazing guy to have around. Are they going to merge the Note and the S line? My guess is no. Uh, just because the Galaxy S, there's so much money behind that that brand and the Note, so I do not believe that they will merge it. All they're going to do is create a new flagship line, so they will have the folding... It's not installed, so recording is not available. What are you talking about? So my watch is talking to me. So they, they, they will keep the S line, the note line, and then the foldable line is my guess. And it just depends if it's the Z flip or the, the fold. That's really my guess right there. But anyways, hope you guys have liked this live stream. Hopefully it was a little informative. The main portion of it at the beginning, if you weren't here, was that you can find it at at t locations since this past Friday. But it's very, very limited. Call your AT&T location, see where it's at. Um, and if they if they had the fold, they will have the flip. For Best Buy, it goes on sale in Best Buy this upcoming Thursday. And then for Sprint, you just got to call your locations again. It's not sold at Verizon yet, and T-Mobile's not getting it. Uh, the video is about to go up here in, um, in five minutes. So once you get off this live stream, grab a drink of water. 
go to the bathroom, come right back, and we'll have the unboxing along with case review for the Galaxy Z Flip. But I hope you guys have liked this video. Everything has been done off of the flip. It's sitting right in front of me now. It's actually sitting up at a 90 degree angle. Again, perfect for if you wanna do video chats with anybody else, it's going to look like this. It's super handy, it's just sitting in front of me. I did not have to set up a tripod, nothing like that. Uh, it is sitting on my wireless charging uh, pad right now because it was almost dead. But again, hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Uh, also, if you like this video, give this thing a super chat. Uh, anytime I do a live stream, if you like the content, you know, send over a super chat. It helps out. Um, but stay tuned. Next video going up in about five minutes. And I'll see you guys later. Oh, no, I got to unfold it a little bit.